What's up guys? All right, so I'm gonna explain. So I, I was watching you guys and a lot of you guys are realizing that I'm not all talked. Um, and you're kind of like, um, how do I say this? You're kind of moving on to ethical challenges, which is uh, you say, but he did this, right? But he did this. And this is like back when I was getting molested and all that stuff, um, all the things that happened. And uh, here's, here's what it's like. Here's what it's like. It's like you're, you are, you're pretty much saying like, Let's say I was, I was, I was, uh, they were filming me in child pornography and, uh, and it wasn't my fault what was happening. You're like, yeah, but he was still doing that stuff. And it's like, yeah, I was still being molested, you fucking dumbass. All right. So all that aside, you guys are realizing that this stuff is real, that it's actually lining up with concepts, um, that it's lining up with existence, that everything you're seeing is not just what's physically there. It's also the concepts around it. You're realizing all this stuff matters. And, uh, and, uh, if you kept saying it when I told you not to, if you have been contributing to me being uh, lonely, starving, homeless, etc., you are tagged for death, and and that stuff is easy to filter and discover. Um, I'm I'm not interested in discussing with you. You already think I'm all talk, so there's no need to negotiate, right? Uh, so here's the thing: you're tagged for death. Uh, the concepts around you uh, will be challenged. Whatever makes more sense will have mass put into it until eventually it's lined up that you can die and it just seems like something that happened right there without any explanation of what's going on. For instance, it'll just seem like you choked on your food. Now, here's the thing. You guys think that this is unfair, but ultimately by saying that he did this, that's what you were doing to me, you know, creating that little excuse to kill me. You know what I'm saying? So um, <clears throat> here's what, but he did this does. It makes it unethical for mass to support me without an explanation of what was actually going on. And so it forces me to pull out, uh, well, under the, under conditions that you don't understand or know what you're doing, it, it was forcing me to pull out and not mass anymore. Because if I did so, it would seem like I was killing somebody who was having an irrational reaction uh, in a sensible way, and thus killing them would make me a bad person. And not only that, not only that, um, if enough of you say it, then it'll just seem like I'm killing you all to cover it up. But I'm not covering it up. I've discussed this. I've talked about it several times. The information, you can see it on my YouTube channel. It's everywhere. I've talked about it. We've discussed it. And when we discuss it, when we talk about it, we realize I was a victim. And you guys were doing fucked up shit to try and cover it up. You know what I'm saying? You ever watch Training Day? It's like Training Day. You ever seen Training Day? Hmm? Imagine doing Training Day to a little fucking boy. Huh? You ever seen Training Day, huh? You little fucking bitch ass nigga, you little bitch. I'm, and you and you and you and you think this is a fucking joke. You think this is funny. You think that, bro, you're not smarter than me. That's what the fucking problem is, nigga. That night that I did all that shit, I made the best move to save everybody. The best move to save everyone. And you're not appreciating that because that shit could have gone differently. It could have been you not being interrogated, but at least being beaten. And that's what you don't understand. I made the move to save everyone. And you still don't appreciate it. You still don't fucking get it. You still think that you're clever because I saw you as stupid enough that I had to take responsibility for everyone. You still think you're smarter than me. You still think you can outsmart this. You can't. All right? Back when I had to worry about consequences of killing people that don't deserve it, maybe you could have, but you can't now. You people pushed me to an edge and you were just going to let me die because you thought that there wouldn't be consequences. Well, I'm telling you now, there won't be any consequences for this. So it's fair. All right. So here's another thing that happens. They say the concept, right? But he did this. And what happens is they think that we're not allowed to mass anymore. We're not allowed to keep going because keeping going would be killing somebody who's having an irrational reaction, giving them a false authority, right? Uh, and doing so would make me a bad person. But here's the thing. All the details surrounding what they're saying will always lead back to them having participated in creating that concept so that they could use it in this way. And so it'll kill them twice. It'll, it'll kill them twice because that means they were a part of the group of people who were manifesting, who were causing it. That's what it'll mean. So it'll mean that if they say it, they're killing them. They're, they're even creating a more of a reason to kill them. They're just stalling it. That's all they're doing. They're stalling it, right? Uh, so, yeah. It makes it look like you thought what you're doing is right uh, as you die. Creates a bad person value on me. Uh, it makes it easier for people to. But here's the thing. Now, now this is where this is where it gets this is where it gets kind of like game over, right? So 
we're talking about the uh, the um, the mass, right? You don't want to push too hard into into the physical life without being logical, right? Because if you're wrong, there can be physical consequences, and, and ooh, that'll be really painful, right? But if you're right, you get what you want, right? Now, you guys were pushing under the conditions that I would have to pull out because you were saying, but you did this, yeah, but you still did it, though. It doesn't matter why it happened. It, it fucking does matter, and that's what I realized. It actually matters why it happened. It matters what occurred. It matters why it was happening. It matters who was facilitating it. All these things matter. And you saying that they don't, well, I still get to contribute to mass. And that mass is still going to evolve around you, create consequences for you. And not only that, you're all betting on this idea that if you just push harder than me while being wrong, then you'll still have more happen and I'll still be killed. But here's the thing. If this matters, right? If you push into this and you have to be right in order for it to not collapse on you, you being wrong and pushing harder is just gonna make things happen fucking faster. And I've seen some of you, some of you are good spenders, some of you have started growing up, some of you have realized you've gotta spend your money better. Some of you have realized that, that you gotta play this game differently, right? And so here's what you're doing. That's what's been happening. I'm not gonna write it, cause fuck you. Uh, combined with some not pushing too hard. So you're staying right here, you're staying right on the line. And what you're intending to do is create a timeline push, right? Where you can say, because this is all I know, because this is what I think has been happening, it must be the only thing that can occur. You keep pressuring me into doing something wrong, me into being a bad person, right? And you keep doing this until eventually you can take me, oops, I drew that wrong, hold on. Out of the concept of being what I am right now, this good person who's been fucking pushed to his limit, oh, fucking, it's, it's all a mess out there, man. It's all fucked up, you know? It's all a fucking mess, right? You, you're hoping to push me into being something that you can say, oh, he did that? It doesn't matter why he did it. Let's kill him. Oh, he did this? It doesn't matter why he did it. Let's kill him. Oh, he did this? It doesn't matter why he did it. Let's kill him, right? And you're hoping that you can just use that as an excuse to push all your masks in and get me killed anyway, right? But understand that the same way that you're coming up with these clever little strategies that involve me no longer surviving that now it's a fair game. Now I'm coming up with strategies that involve you no longer surviving, right? Now my strategies, who, which by the way, are actually attached to being correct, being right, not just wanting it, not just doing something wrong and hoping that they'll get away with it, actually being right. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, fuck you. Um, it was a good game. It was good knowing you. Um, Look, your only options are to keep going, say that I'm wrong, keep going and die, or to admit that I'm right and change your strategy and try to increase how long you have to live while convincing me that you've changed and that it would be unfair to kill you because we were all too young. Yeah, that's y'all's fucking shit. I fucking caught you. I found you, niggas. That's what you're fucking doing. You niggas are trying to fucking have time pass. You're, you're staying small. You're staying low. And you're trying to have time pass to say that you changed and that that's not who you are anymore so that I can't kill you then. That's what the fuck you're doing. That's what you're doing. I fucking get... I caught you. I caught you. You're fucking dying, bro. I fucking told you.